What's up, guys? How's it going? I hope you guys are having a great, great Thanksgiving day. I know you guys are spending a lot of time with your families, and uh, I'm about to spend some time with my family. But before we go into that, or before I go into that, I want to share some new finds that I found lately. Now that Christmas is coming around the corner, these stores have been pumping out some cars. So I was able to find most of my first editions and a brand new Matchbox collectors. And this is pretty cool because it tributes Eddie Brock and uh, this is one of the great castings that's, uh, that's been coming out lately in Hot Wheels but I have it in Matchbox collectors. The 2016 Chevy Camaro. Take a look at that guys. Detailed in the front. Love the rim choice, tire choice on this car. Um, matchbox right there above the rear wheel. And an Eddie Brock on the door. I mean, this is an awesome casting. Fully detailed, front and back. It almost looks like the hood opens a little bit. But yeah, when I saw this, I had to get it because this car is fantastic. I love the way it sets and it's part of my Matchbox Collectors. This is 14 out of 22 of 2023. I remember they used to show other cars that was part of the set. Now they don't do that no more. I wonder why. But it is still numbered. See in the bottom it says 14. That's the number. And it says right here, 14 out of 22. So there's 22 of these. I think I got some. But it's hard to tell from what comes in what set and what mix. So just glad that I got this to add to my wall. Pretty, pretty stoked about that. Um, the other thing I found, this was uh, that Believe Dollar Tree. When I walked in there. Oh, this might have been a Target. No, excuse me. It was a Target, not Dollar Tree. But I've seen this at Dollar Tree and I never picked it up. But when I saw it at Target, I thought I'd pick I, I thought I'd get it. And this is part of the Matchbox series. And I just like the I just like the livery on this. The black with the yellow and orange livery. It says Matchbox right across the door. And it has also that Matchbox symbol right there. I wonder what... I think that symbol is just... I don't know if they're going to do... I've heard some rumors that they're going to do like treasure hunts. Not super treasure hunts like they have. The Super Chase. But this just regular treasure hunt. I wonder... They're saying that that symbol is going to be for that series. But I don't know... I haven't heard anything like that. But here it goes, guys. This is awesome. What's it called? MBX Field Car. This must be a... This looks almost like a Bronco, but... I guess it's a fantasy car on Matchbox. But hey, picked it up anyways, because it was different, and I like delivery on it. Pretty awesome. Now we're going to turn to uh, some Hot Wheels mainline. Some mainline cars. The next one up is, uh, this was also found at Target, the Alfa Romero. This is new for 2023. But as you know, this is one of the ones that was missing and I could never find. But I know this comes out in red and I'm looking for the red one. But this is pretty awesome as well. Love the rims. I've seen pictures of these in other channels. And you know what? In person, it looks really, really good. Look at that. Alfa Romero right there. I like the whole racing deco. And the rims are nice. Pretty heavy car for a plastic base. Um, yeah, this is part of the Retro Racers. And this is for 2023. So I'm glad to have that part of my collection. To, to finish off the 2023 first editions. 
And then the next one, which I think, I don't know if this is a fantasy car or if it's a regular car or 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 what. But if you guys would comment down below and let me know if this is a real, real life car. But this one is outstanding. I love the way it looks. It's a Mad Mike Drift Attack. And it's also a new casting for this year. Check that out, guys. That is super clean. I love the way it looks. I love the... It has Toyo Tire... Toyo Tires? Deco. Mad Mike Deco. And the Hot Wheel logo right there. Love the hood. The hood's done up really, really well. Um, Aero disc in the front. Steely's in the back. It looks really good. And this car looks really fast. Can't wait to see what the next color choice is going to be i'm hoping they'll have one for 2023 first edition and this is part of the hot wheel exotics and it has a blue base it looks like it's metal base it's pretty heavy it might be plastic metal chest plastic base with a metal body but yeah glad to find this one this is also new for this year and um part of my first edition pickup so Glad to have that one. I think it's outstanding. Uh, the next one, which is also another new model, is a McLaren Solus 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 GT, and this is also a brand new casting for this year. Check that out, guys. That is super clean. Yeah, so Targets are having the Q case out. So the Q case is out in Target. That's the last case code for the year. And I think now I'm missing only a couple of the 2023 new models. I still haven't found the VW bus or the Volkswagen uh, electric bus. That yellow one that's new for this year. And I haven't found the double decker either. But uh, I'm thinking I will find it. I love the way this car looks. I think I'm going to get another one just to unbox it. Just to take it out of the blister and have it rotating. Super clean, guys. I love the Gazada car. The Gazada car is one of my favorite. On, 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 one of my favorite castings. So is the JDMs. JDMs and exotic cars are my favorite cars. Um, underneath that will be the muscle cars. But... The next first edition I found, and I was really skeptical about this one, but you know what? Now that I have it in my hands, it is awesome. It's the Land um, Rover Series 2. This is super clean. This is like detail on, front, on the top. Check that out. Surfboard right there. This is something like a beach bum would have. Huntington Beach, California. I can see this. Going down PCH Huntington Beach. It has metal base. Super clean. Yeah, it's part of the Baja Blazers. Um, the rim choice and the tire choice are excellent. And uh, I just like this California vibe. This is like, yep, surfs up, guys. <laughs> So I'm glad that's also new for this year. So awesome, awesome, awesome to add to my collection. And then I got a, re a recolor for this year. It's the first edition. It's a new for 2023. Uh, it came in black and red. Now we have it in blue and black. Check that out, guys. It's the limited grip. Black Widow. Right there across the door. I mean, this is awesome. Love the laced gold rims on this. It really matches this casting. And the way it's set up right now with the color del delivery on this. And plastic base. And yeah. Super clean. I love it. Instead of everything being chromed, it's black now with blue. Like a... This looks like a... Kind of like a off blue. It's not a shiny blue, but yeah, it looks really nice. New for this year. 
So I found that it's also part of the Q case at Target. And then last but not least, to add to my first my new models, this is a recolor on the Audi 90 Quattro. We have it in red, black, and white and instead of white, red, and black with the gray. It has the white aero disc which really matches this car. This car looks really, really good. Fully detailed in the front. I mean, you have the Audi badging right there in the front. Nothing in the back. Plastic base. And this is also part of the Retro Racers, and this is the recolor. I love the deco on this car. This car is really good, really done really well, and it's new for this year as well. And to add to my first edition, super cool, super clean. And then at Walmart, you know how they dump all those cars all over the bin? I found a Zamac for 2023. found two of these it's pretty cool uh, I always I Zamax and red editions are hard to find guys really really hard to find and uh, I'm just grateful that I found just the this one here it's not too fond of a casting but it's still a Zamac for 2023 it's number seven part of the hot wheel gassers I wanted to find the other ones but I looked through the bin. It was kind of hard the way they do these cars nowadays. Put them in bins where you can't even get down to the middle. Or they just get damaged anyways. So just found what I wanted to find. And that was it, guys. Nothing in premium and nothing in um, two packs or nothing in um, uh, pop culture as well. Um, still waiting for that. I haven't even found a boulevard yet. I might have to, I don't know, I might have to buy it from Second second Market because I'm missing quite a few boulevards. I, it was a hot streak in the beginning, but then it started getting harder and harder to find. So, uh, yeah, I might have to buy it from somewhere else. So, other than that, guys, I just want to tell you guys happy Thanksgiving. I, guess, I hope you guys are eating everything you guys are made and hope you guys are fighting everything on the hooks and I just want to say thank you to every single subscriber out there that subscribed to my channel I'm very grateful that you guys are subscribed and watching this channel and communicating and just sharing this great community that we love so much and uh, 2024 is just going to be another great year I'm going to put I'm, I'm going to do some different things I think I have some different content going to be coming up I'm going to start doing it on January 1st but I still want to do that giveaway, but I haven't reached 600 subscribers. I'm like three, I'm at 578 subscribers right now. Let's bump it up to 600 so I can do a giveaway before the year end. And I just want to thank everybody. Just share this video, like this video, and yeah, communicate and just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these new castings. And this is Hopa Madness. Hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm out.